Welcome back to the channel. I want to do a quick video to explain the differences in the Badger, Renegade, and Sotar line. This is a question that gets asked quite a bit. What is the difference between the normal Renegade series, the Chrome, the Renegade Chrome, and the Badger Sotar 2020? In front of the camera, I have four airbrushes. On the left, the Renegade Spirit, which is the side feed the Renegade Velocity, which is the standard model, the Renegade Chrome, and the Sotar 2020. Now, the Chrome is sort of the top of the line for the Renegade series, and the Sotar is sort of a standalone in terms of uh, it's not an upgraded any of these, it's just the Sotar series. So let's move this out of the way and let's talk about the Renegade lineup. Now as you can tell there are three different finishes on these airbrushes. This is actually an older Renegade that has the darker finish. The new ones have sort of this uh, gunmetal gray finish and of course the Badger Chrome has a chrome finish. So what's the difference in the three? Well to start they all have the same spray heads. Okay, so the they use the same spray head, the same nozzles, and the same needles. So that's the same between all of them. Now of course you can get different feeds. You have here the Spirit which is the side feed. You have the Rage which is the bottom feed. You have the Velocity which is the larger cup for the gravity feed. Then you have the Jet uh, I believe it's the jet. I don't remember. I know it's the chrome jet has the smaller cup. So these are the same series again, same spray heads, nozzles, needles. Where the difference is, uh, besides uh, finish, we'll get this out of the way because it's not important. No. So these are the same brush for, uh, except for a few minor cosmetic differences and one internal difference. The one internal difference is the trigger mechanism. The trigger mechanism on these two brushes is different, or are different. Uh, so let's take the back handle. Sorry, my hands are cold, so it's hard to move them around. Um, you have the standard trigger assembly, trigger mechanism. That's on Badger airbrushes. That is on the normal Renegade series. Now on the Chrome, you have a different trigger mechanism, as you can tell. slightly different. And now this is a softer uh, trigger pull than this one, so softer trigger tension, and the way you adjust trigger tension is different. So you can see there's two portions here. You have the front knurled por portion and this back adjustment screw. This back screw, this one right here, is the trigger tension adjustment. So in for tighter, out for a looser, uh, lighter feel. Now, the regular Renegade series to adjust trigger tension, you just unscrew the whole portion uh, in or out. That will increase tension or decrease tension on the trigger. Uh, obviously, some other cosmetic differences. The Chrome has a different rear handle. Also has an indexed needle limiter or trigger limiter, trigger stop. Uh, the normal Velocity series, while it does have the limiter, does not have the little black indexed marker. You also notice that the uh, Chrome has a cutout where the needle chuck is, uh, and the regular Renegade does not. One of the other cosmetic differences uh, is that the Chrome has the black finger rest. Other than that, they are the same brush, and they will spray the same tight pattern because they use the same spray head. So again, the only difference between the Chrome and the normal Renegade is finish, black finger rest, and trigger uh, tension adjustment. We also have the Chrome has a metal color cup lid. The Renegade comes with a plastic one. So that's the difference between the Renegade and the Chrome. Now the difference in the Chrome and the Sotar now, like the rest of the Renegades, the Sotar uses the same spray head as the Chrome does. Uh, you will notice they are the same. Now, of course, uh, the Chrome has a pronged, two little needle protective prongs 
the Sotar does not. But as you can tell, they both have the black finger rest and same spray heads. Now this, I have the high roller trigger on that, so disregard that, they come with the same trigger. Now where the, now internally, these are the exact same. Uh, this uses the same trigger mechanism this does, uses the same spray head this does, they use the same nozzles, they use the same needles, the difference in the needles being the Sotars have a color-coded bulb on the back that identifies the different sizes of needles. Let's go ahead and put uh, the back handle uh, back onto the chrome. So where the real difference between the chrome and the Sotar is, is in feel. You can tell if I line them up uh, with the air uh, valves, you can see that the chrome is a longer airbrush. Now, uh, the chrome is closer to a normal uh, airbrush size in terms of feel and the Sotar is shorter. So in practical terms what does that mean? Well it comes down to personal preference and feel. Now a good example for this and a good rule is uh, the pencil test. Now this is not original with me a lot of other people have used this but it's a good test to figure out which one of these since they will spray the same which one of these will feel better in your hands. Now if you hold a pencil up here the Sotar is going to feel better because it's shorter. If you hold the pencil up here, then the chrome is probably going to feel better in your hands. Likewise, if you're used to using a standard airbrush size, then the chrome will probably feel better. And if I put these in my hand, you can see that the Sotar uh, sticks back more in my hand and feels a little bit shorter, because it is shorter, but feels a little bit more compact in your hand is closer to the nozzle which means little movements uh, in your wrist or in your hand translate easier to the workpiece. So as you can see where the uh, the nozzle is in regard to my hand uh, not that far away now if I were to switch over and grab the chrome uh, you can see that the nozzle is quite a bit further away. So mechanically they are the same uh, they use the same exact internals, uh, but the feel is where they are different. Again, if you hold a pencil back here, the chrome will probably feel better for you. Uh, but if you hold a pencil up here, the Sotar will feel better. Now, again, same internals, so practically speaking, they will spray the same for you. It all comes down to personal preference in feel. So... Again, Sotar is a shorter, uh, more compact feel. A lot of people don't like that in that it, it can make your hand sort of feel cramped and that you're too close to uh, the workpiece and you're too close to what you're spraying. And the chrome, uh, obviously, as we've already shown, or I've already shown, uh, you're a little bit further away from the workpiece. And it, it is a more traditional uh, airbrush size. Again, if you don't know which one to get, use the pencil test. Hold it back here, probably you should get a chrome. You hold it up here, you'd probably do better with the Sotar. So hopefully that has answered your questions. Uh, all of these use the same spray heads, same nozzles, same needles. So uh, in that sense, they were all spray the same. It's the trigger mechanism in the normal Renegade versus the Chrome and Sotar that is different. And in terms of the Sotar and Chrome, it's the feel of the airbrush and the size of the airbrush that is different. Hopefully that has answered uh, the question that a lot of people seem to ask. Uh, if you want to know more or you have another question, please ask them in the comments or send me a message. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.